that it has been forever since, at least it seems like forever, since I have uploaded a video. And I just actually looked on my YouTube and realized that it has been three months. So I'm thinking about mid to early February was the last time that I actually uploaded to my YouTube channel. I do have small videos um on my instagram and facebook so if you are not following me on those platforms um my handle is at coach keisha austin so check me out there but i wanted to do this video because yesterday um i'm being obedient and yesterday uh well a little bit late and obedient because i was supposed to do it yesterday <clears throat> but um i wanted to talk about temporary bandages that result in long-term long-time bondage and what i mean by that is so um these last couple months have been bananas i don't know if people still say that but yeah it's been crazy it's been a lot of stuff going on as you can tell i'm kind of congested a little bit um i want to tell end of a cold praise god um but this cold allergy whatever this is has been um, kicking my butt, but I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna win. Um, and it's gonna come to pass, and I, I know that that's gonna be the case. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk about the times in my life that I have been covering up so much. I mean, to the point where um, I felt neglected, um, or I've talked talk about before how I am a two time teen mom. Um, I was at one point in my life. 400 pounds how um, I got through high school by the skin of my teeth you know all of these different scenarios and these different experiences that I had in my life that left me questioning was I even worthy of life and a lot of those days I spent numbing the bandage that I'm referring to in the title of this video I would drink um, I would club. I even tried to smoke before, but that's not something that, um, thank God that I did not get uh, addicted to or that was a constant thing for me, but I tried it. Um, um, being promiscuous, just doing any and everything, just trying to fill the void of not dealing with what I was truly, truly feeling. And the, the biggest thing for me at that time, when I'm thinking back, I didn't know how to ask for help. I didn't know who could help me. I didn't know where to go. I just, I just continued to drink and spiral out of control and do things that were totally outside of my character. Um, I can remember times just feeling really, really heavy and really, really overwhelmed. And I mean, I would drink and I would say things that I did not mean, things that I would not even remember the next day, um, do things that I would not remember. And then on the tail end of it, I would feel worse than I felt when I, before I even started um, this crazy weekend for the week being crazy. And I just remember that being a constant cycle for me. Um, I would break up with a person or stop talking to a dude because for whatever reason, he wasn't, you know, who I should have been pursuing and he shouldn't have been pursuing me. Um, but then once I got into that, that, that cycle of feeling less than or feeling, um, not feeling beautiful or feeling whatever inadequate, um, I would then hit this dude back up and we would go through that cycle again. And I just want to tackle that in the sense that if that's you, I have been there. I have been there. I would say this was a cycle in my life for several years. That was me. I was in a zombie state. I wasn't really um, where I was when I was there, if that makes sense. I'm walking, going through the motion, but I'm not physically where I am. And that was a really, really hard time for me. And I didn't wake up until <clears throat> and really realize what was going on in my life until I would say a couple months after I got married. And the reason why... I was able to really see it, it was it was so bad. I remember my mom and my husband at one point being concerned about me like what is going on with her like it had gotten that bad and um, I remember finally getting a grip on where I was and what was happening in my life several weeks several months after I got married so um, this had went on for years 
And I finally just started to peel back the layers and dealing with certain parts of my life that I was able to cope with at the time then. And I remember suicide attempts, like not attempts, but in my mind thinking that I'm going to go there. I never like harmed myself or took it to that step. However, it did come across my mind to do it. And that's a scary thought to think that something in life would get that heavy where I would feel like I no longer want to live anymore. If that is you, I have been there. I have been there more than once. I've been there more than five times and I feel you. And it's, I wasn't there. The crazy thing is I wasn't there when my life was as worse as it had been, like at the worst place it had been, period. It was when things started to progress, but I started to look back at the mistakes that I've made and being ashamed of those mistakes and not really knowing what to do with them or how to handle it. And that those temporary bandages turned into long-term bondage because I was I was stuck in a sense in my mind and in my heart and in my spirit with everything that I had done to cover up all the time that I had missed, all the time that I had wasted. And I just want to encourage you that if you are in that place, one one for one, you have got to forgive yourself. And forgiving yourself is you being real with yourself and getting out what you're feeling. Because once you get it out, you'll know what it is that you're feeling and what to do with those feelings after you do the second thing, which is get help. Um, nobody's going to be able to help you if you don't know what it is that you're struggling with. You may not know what you need, but you can articulate what it is that you're struggling with and get help with that um, if you're willing to swallow your pride, unlike me at the time and ask for help. Um, the third thing is nothing that you've been through will be wasted. So everything that you've experienced, all the mistakes, all the ups and downs, all the depression, everything, everything, none of that stuff is wasted. Every single thing that I have been through in my life and I think like, why did I do that? Why did I go through that? It always comes back and God shows me he's so good. So, so good. He always shows me that that was not time wasted. That experience was not wasted. So I just encourage you to be willing to, to continue on your journey so that it can make sense. We all have different stories and your story just happens to be everything that you've been through. But you're not the only one that has had those uh, those circumstances. It may not have happened in a way that it happened to you. But I can guarantee you that someone else has faced um, similar challenges and or have, have felt the same way that you felt. So don't feel like you're alone. So... Um, if you feel like your life is in a spiral, you keep making, keep doing the same things over and over and you're sort of in a zombie state. I just remember being so sad. Like I was just sad. Oh my God. Sad as hell. Just sad. So sad. And I could not do anything about it. And it wasn't something that I could, that I could articulate or tell anybody because I was just sad. Like I just felt like it was a dark cloud over my head. Um, and then I would just drink on the weekend, go to the club, act like everything was okay. And I was drowning. I was drowning myself. And everything that I was lacking, everything that I was dealing with. So get um, the first thing is identify what it is that you're feeling. If you're feeling sadness, if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling um, depressed, it's okay, depressed, but why? Let's try to figure out what it is um, that you're feeling. I'm sorry, why you're feeling that way why you're depressed and then we can start sorting out those emotions and then you can decide if you need an actual coach or if you need to um see a therapist and i can tell you that it gets better it gets better you just have to continue to work through it this is your journey this is your life um and you are worth the other side of the other side of depression you're worth the other side of sadness and if God is gracious enough to bless me with the other side, um, as does he love you. He has, he's not a favor among persons. He loves us all. And I hope that you um, utilize everything that you have within you to make it past this point. Take care.